last video, I told you we're not done talking about electric vehicle supply equipment in Article 220, and we're not. 220.57 is a new section that was added for electric vehicle supply equipment. It addresses the load calculations, and this, you know this is something that we've we've needed to have. How are you supposed to calculate electric vehicle supply equipment? Well. You go off the nameplate, right? I mean, that's how you calculate it. So for electric vehicle supply equipment, the larger of either the nameplate or an assumed load of 7200 VA is going to be used. All right, so if you have a nameplate, then you, you go off the nameplate. But if the nameplate is small, and it says, eh, this thing only pulls 1,000 watts or whatever, 1,000 VA. Well, guess what? You, you, you still have to assume 7,200 VA. You have to use the larger of the two. Now, what's magic about 7,200 VA? Well, that's 30 amps at 240 volts. And I don't want to say that that's standard for electric vehicle supply equipment because what, what does standard mean? I mean, I don't, there's not necessarily a standard, but I will tell you that that's very typical right, is 7200 VA. So there you go. That's how we're going to do the load calculation for electric vehicle supply equipment. It does not count as one of the four fixed in place appliances for the 75% demand factor. And you have to assume a load of 7200 VA, which is 30 amps at, you know, at 240, or the nameplate if the nameplate is greater than 7200 VA. Look, if you're putting in an 80 amp charger, <laughs> you don't get to pretend that it's only 30 amps, or you got to calculate it appropriately. So there you go. At least we're talking about electric vehicle supply equipment. Uh, but as Billy Mays would say, but wait, there's more. <laughs> we're going to keep talking about this in more of the videos in this series. So we'll see you next time.